Like most women get cheated on. Have, have, have all, y'all y'all been cheated on before? No. Or, no. or those with you've never been cheated on? No. I have not. <laughs> I have only had one boyfriend oh. who I'm currently dating. And you think he doesn't want any other Absolutely not. Whether well, he's humans, a human being and has interests. Humans are biologically monogamous. Yeah. You said what? Humans are biologically monogamous. Um, bull crud. No, no, they're not. Yes, they so. are. No, yeah, no, men. They are. no, men. They're not. Men. You are. Humans you, are. you want one guy. Homo we, sapiens. We, we want. Yes. No, they're not. We're not. Yeah, lobsters. homo sapiens are monogamous it can, creatures. It can take a simple mate. Google search. Like, like, I read a book uh, on it. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. Aaron Chambers super chatted 199. Yo, thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it, man. Cents. Hey, Brian, it's the Aaron slash Jessica attack again oh. from Sunday. Asika, would you consider bringing on Vince Stand or Gavin McGuinness on show? It would be a podcast to remember. Uh, I'm not sure who Vince Dow is, but I know, isn't Gavin McGinnis the uh, pr- uh, Proud Boys founder? Um, <laughs> that might be, uh, is that TOS? I think he's banned on Twitch, so that might be TOS for us. Um, yeah, I, honestly, I don't really know m- enough about, about them, but uh, yeah, never say never. Okay, sorry, go ahead, continue with your... Oh, no, you said... You said Homo sapiens are there's only like there's only like eleven mammals that are monogamous. That is correct. And humans aren't one of them. They are. I've We're, read a book on it. You can read. It's you called read a book on it. You all know a Harari. So just because that, per- that one person made a book, it's right. Mm-hmm. Scientific research. I think that women are definitely long-term mating partners. Like, yes, I think women are. Women are, but men aren't. We're complete humans. and utter, utterly opposite. There has been a cultural. Uh, I think where it differs <coughs> biologically and culturally, it's been more culturally accepted, but biologically, lifelong mating partners. Is it on no, Google culture, Scholar? No, culturally, it's... It's a scientific what, book. It's what... Because it, it's what... That's what's good for society. Very accredited. Aren't penguins also long-term mating partners? been peer-reviewed. Yeah, penguins, Et parrots. Et cetera. Mm-hmm. Very. And Swans. Maybe. Swans? Mm-hmm. That's cute. Swans. Geese. But Lobsters. About a quarter Lobbers. of all primates. About a quarter of all primates. <laughs> Lobsters are believable. Crustacean. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Shellfish. I was, gonna, I, I was gonna say the sea's cockroaches. <laughs> I think monogamous delicious. marriage they're is probably one of the yummy. best things you can do for yourself. Absolutely. To find happiness and for a culture that's extremely. Well, you important. don't find we, I thought we already all agreed that you a should two-parent actually household have is, happiness. So yeah. is is beneficial. I, I think. So how happiness. are we gonna have a two-parent household if we don't, you know? Endorse Ooh. and promote marriage. That's true. You just said Ooh. all this bad stuff about uh, single family households. Yeah, but then you but don't think you don't condone. Men should commit to marriage. No, who, right? I, I never, Look at Nick Cannon. Come on, <laughs> like he can do yeah. it if he can do it. I never say. I never say marriage is bad. Yeah, if he's a multimillionaire. <laughs> so marriage with multiple women is just yeah cool. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, there's cultures that are. Islam, like you can that. have a, if you can take care of as many wives as you can, you can if do I that. Can they take advantage of that, though. I agree. I know who a lot advantage? of I know a lot of Arab men who take advantage of that. Oh, of like. Well, there's good men and bad men everywhere. Yeah. There's so always going to be somebody women. taking yeah. advantage of somebody. But I'm, yeah, that's fine. That's you fine. wanted to come in? Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say there was a quote somewhere that said that Nick Cannon regrets regrets having so many children with so many different women because he can't be in all of their lives like mm-hmm. often enough. Yeah. Like, how many birthdays does he have a year? He has like sixteen, like twelve, well, including his wives or whatever <laughs> girlfriends, whatever, whatever. <laughs> like at least twenty to celebrate or to remember. Yeah, and he I can has bar- barely remember like five. Yeah, and he has the financial resources, like more financial resources than like ninety nine percent of men. So yeah, I, I'm I, out of Nick curiosity. Nick Cannon's children will be fine. Can yeah, you can you name sense. someone who doesn't have an incredible amount of money that is in a productive, uh, fulfilling polyamorous relationship where their family and wives? Yes, grow, I know. And, I know quite know, a few people enjoy it. Yes, I know quite a few people. That's a, there's a whole community. Mormons? Of, no, polyamorous. Of people that are poly and yeah. happy and whatever. I, I just I think that that is the like a, a small sliver of people. I think that's a very small sliver of people. And if women take up just a little more than half the population and most women are not down for that, then how, is, how are we endorsing relationships where men get multiple women at once? Because the men, because the men that can have girlfriends are going to ha- have women. Do you, you get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like the men that can get girls, mm-hmm. they're going to get girls. And the, the men that don't, they but just But what does get. that do for a society? 
some men like, do don't even want multiple thing? girls like i understand we're thinking that it's a small-minded oh just mm. me i'm gonna do this this gets me off i enjoy this but what like do you think so this would be a good thing if you know everyone in america or you know that was the the um like quota that's what everyone's doing when well that used to be the that used to be how the world was the and we've mi- evolved mid- to marriages committed marriages right because that's what was better for society but now we live in a world with social media where the women y'all pick you, you decide yeah. who you date Fuck if you, there's media. dudes that don't get anything if that's the case. so you guys decide to smash the dudes that are six eight six four abs attractive <laughs> blah 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 you don't pick the other guys right that's natural selection. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess you're, where are you going? It, it depends on who you're talking to. Yeah. So I, I, mean, I don't go for the l- length, height, and Same. abs, Pause. okay? Right, you go for guys you can be mean to. Huh? You go for guys you can be mean to. No, I go for, I go for men, because I do agree. Like, my, okay, I like making my money, right? I love working. Um, that is something that I'm passionate about. However, I still like to be taken care of. So I want someone that has their stuff together, but then I'm also dating in my 30s, mid 30s, almost 40s, right? So it's different than like when I was dating in my 20s. You guys are all in your 20s, you're in your 30s. But right. men in their 30s, I still consider are like in your 20s, you know? I tend to date older. Right, but those older men are still gonna date younger women. Correct, I'm younger than the older men yes mm-hmm. so right correct. But, but she's no, in a different no, 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 age no. bracket baby i mean no. I'm, I'm in a good age bracket i believe right now because i've have you guys ever seen those memes it's like don't play with me i could date you or your daddy yes. i'm in that i'm like i'm sorry guys i'm that. i'm right there right now my yeah right so. but i don't i don't think you understand what i'm saying a man that, okay what what age of men are you saying that you date i how, usually how like to date at least 40s and up. So, what do you think is a man's prime? When does a guy hit his man hit his prime? I think they don't start maturing. I'm not. I'm sorry for the ones that are mature. Um, I think that they don't get it out of that because maybe I came from Los Angeles and the you know you see guys that are like 39, 36 still in the club. That's not a good look, right? For me. When do guys hit their prime? In oh. my humble opinion, I think at forties and up, forties and up with experience. For instance, okay. So if, no, no, no. So when do women hit their prime? Well, it just depends because J Lo's in her fifties and she looks better than she was in her twenties. J Lo's bank account is also very, very fat, correct. So we can't really compare. Oh, it to yes. We Alone. don't care about money. We don't care about your money. <laughs> huh? Don't, we don't care about how much money you make. Don't worry about the screen. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not talking about money. Don't worry about it. Into the mic. I'm, into the mic. Don't worry. So, you know, the thing is, different standards are changing. But, but answer, if, you had, if you had to say, when do women hit their prime? It really depends to, on the woman. It, oh, we ju- men judge what a woman's prime is, right? Okay. For I think that... So when, what, what, at what age do you think men... I like myself in my 30s, but earlier 30s. No, not you. Think outside oh. of yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so Are selfish. You I don't biologically know about other people or just like own business. Like, like literal, like physical health or all over or what, talking what, about your when actual When it comes to dating, like what, what men are attracted to? What would, what would men say that a woman's prime is? When we so you, sexy. I'm saying early 20s. So to if, answer your if question, talking, early 20s. Boom. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Boom. So why would a guy in his 40s, in his prime, not want a woman in their prime. Although, okay, because so of the mental. Okay, so if you're thinking like back in the day, okay, like, like biologically healthy bodies on the younger scale, right? As you get older, it's just, you know. When I turn 40 and I have money and I want to have a family, I'm not going to pick a woman that's in her 30s. Okay, well, that she is your kids. preference. <laughs> That is your preference. Well, I, How will I mean, she that's, have kids that's, if she's like, like, unless you have a lot of money, like, it's more dangerous to have kids after your 30s. But so I, I know, I agree. Okay. Like, we agree. For men, technically, you, it's 45 bad. if you want to be healthy, and if you're like smoking, eat, or drinking, or whatever, then you're going to compromise yourself, too. So, you know, um, I don't want to get 
that detailed about it. Like with me, I waited way too long because I'm like going to be 36 this year as far as children. But um, but I do want kids, but it's like I'm t- going to put them on ice pretty soon, like extracting my eggs. You're like, going to do that? I, I really, that's my plan because I'm not just going to go and find Slick Rick and then just get knocked up. Mm-hmm. Like I've... Like, I'm careful because I want to create with a human being that I am going to have to be able to co-parent with, whether we're married or not. Ideally, marriage, right? But it's like you, there's so many people that just hate their spouse and they stay together for the children. I'm sorry. I think she would have said Okay, so just to answer your question. Um, I, I'm going to give men a little more credit and say the ones that know that they want to settle down eventually, have kids, be married, I think that they know at a, a relatively young age. I'm going to guess like 20. So if you know that you know, you want to be looking for a wife in your early 20s, this is for the subset of men who are like, I know I want to get married, they're probably going to be looking to women around their own age. So I, that's why I think we see marriages commonly between like 25 and 35 with, you know, uh, non-age gap marriages but then of course older 40 year old men want women in their prime and if women want security and you know if I'm 22 and I just want security and this older man's 40 and he has the security and wants a young woman that's why you see that together so I, I, I don't know how this got I so have deep. a question for you so you said when you're like in your 40s you want to settle down and you'd pick a woman in her 20s like in her prime time yes okay what happens when she's 35 past her prime time you still committed? Just get a different one, right? Would you stay committed? Yeah. Why okay. Would I? Okay. No, I was just wondering. Yeah, I know once I was just you put wondering. in that, uh, put in the work, put in the equity. Yeah. Okay. You got, no, you I was got just equity wondering. now. You okay. didn't put in. Yeah. You got years. You got tenure. Just wondering. You're good. Me cool, personally, no, cool. <laughs> I've aged like, and I'm oh, I'm 26. I've aged like fine wine. I was so, like Wait. horrendous. Huh? I was horrendous. Aged like fine wine? Yeah. That's that's what they say, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. I've heard that. Have you heard that I before? I think you're beautiful. Don't she let was it saying make it when she was younger, she was bust, more saying. busted. Like, you're not busted at all. But she was <laughs> wow. saying, like, she oh didn't God. know her makeup or her hair routine. No, and you I just looked, level up I, as a woman so the more you age. When I was, yeah. like, 20, oh, 21, was if I showed you pictures, like, uh, fug, fugly is, like, not the word. So, right, but if you would have found a real one. No, he, at, I was. At 21, I, he would have okay. been like, I got you. You funny? I dated. So I had a relationship in high school. It lasted three years. And right out of high school, my first boyfriend was 20 years older than me, 22 years older than me. He was 42. And we dated for like two years, and I still wasn't at my prime. I was awkward. I was. Well, y'all pick horrible men. You yeah. want to know why? I wasn't. Obviously, because I'm 18 and I'm not even fully developed at all. Like, I, like my brain is. My two brain cells are dancing together. Like, what? <laughs> Yo, I kind of. I'm not gonna lie I kind of agree with you to a point to a point and I know I was talking about I earlier I did like in the conversation I did actually agree with you about like the two-parent household I was just saying that guy's argument sucked but what I'm saying I agree with you to a point because even in myself I do question my own choices and who I pick as a partner and I attribute that a lot to like maybe I have something internal where like because of what happened with my dad, like that's influencing my choices. And as far as like the whole prime thing goes, what the actual problem is too, is that like evolution and biology hasn't caught up to modern medicine. People used to die at 40. So it makes sense that women get into prime childbearing years from 14 to 30 because they would die shortly after because we didn't have antibiotics you know what I'm saying but now people are living to like 80 and men can just keep reproducing I saw a lot of comments about like population and for the population there's like 8 billion people we don't need any more people like that's also a stupid argument but I do kind of agree with you that like of course men are going to be attracted to women in their childbearing years which is much younger as far as like mental development have you tried to have a conversation with like an 18 year old lately like a, a, a like when I look when I was 18 I was attracted to 18 year olds when I'm like 27 I look at an 18 year old and it looks like a little boy so it's like that's the disconnect I think and it's like there's value in older women because it's like you we have that? age what experience is, is, like tact like I find men that men so not 
a good argument because no, I no, think I'm that saying I agree I'm with the bi- no I, I think that you just put out a really bold statement the way that women hate the way men do oh all older women are this or all young women are that I think that you become smart through push, experiences push back little, little. and reading and listening to smart people rather than just aging because I agree with you. you can age well That's you can ra- age knowledgeably or you cannot I, so just being older does not make you smarter i agree with you 100 percent. what i that was a very broad generalization what i'm saying is like if i have a conversation with a 50 year old we don't have in common we come from a different time it's not about you don't have anything like no it's like even just like socially or like when you go to like social justice issues politically like all there's just age difference does kind of matter when i'm not saying people can't connect hold that thought one second 200 dollars women age like milk in the summer (laughs) southern sunshine you are welcome for the alliteration wow that was (laughs) especially that was poetic mark quavius thank you very much for that. that yo by the way eric i uh I clicked mm-hmm. off one of the other soup chats. I, if you can show that one. Um, I, um, I think. Yeah, like, yeah, just I wait until. Think, wait, can I think something? Can I just finish the one point? I swear. Women shouldn't um, think. <laughs> You're right. No we thoughts. Just stop. Why are we thinking still? No, I really didn't mean to demean younger people. I'm just saying you're at different points in your life. What I wanted at 18 is very different than what I wanted at 27. So it's like you got to find somebody, regardless of age, what aligns with you. So it's like when I say I'm talking to an 18 year old boy, that's not somebody that probably wants to settle down and have a family and get married. Mm. So it's like that's why I'm saying there's a disconnect. But biologically, of course, older men are going to be attracted to younger women. So I agree with you, and I agree with like the whole like parental figure thing. Also, actually. yeah, it's a parental. It's totally a parental thing, and I think it's like a. It's a strong word. I don't even know. Can I use it? The G word. G rooming. Is that a thing? What? What does that have to do with anything? Well, like we're talking about older guys. We're, we're talking about adult to... relationships. That's irrelevant. Right, but. I'm not going to even entertain that conversation. Older men who are attracted to younger women are not grooming. Grooming is in the context of like like, predators. No, yeah, that's and that's not what I meant at all. I meant it very loosely, as in like my experience, for example, when I'm 18 dating somebody who's 20 years older than me. What what is the reason for that? I, I, I need because insecurity you're not your I, and, and, I, and I didn't have any of that let's take those factors away money security all that other stuff that actually matters what I actually wanted was like essentially a father figure somebody who can like tell me what's up with life somebody who, who could guide me through life and that's what I needed got that philosophy out the way and it's like cool I can start dating somebody who's like yeah. younger and more around my bracket of yeah. age I, that's my personal experience and I just wanted to interject and say that that's possible that's possibly why you would be interested in a, in a younger woman because you could instill what happens with male and female relationships is males instill their philosophies to women and women we either if we love them we're going to catch on to those philosophies and we're going to be like oh okay great like I'm now this might be my political party or I agree with well. No, these you things, you, you have to do that to st- like you have to bring your girl or on your same wavelength if you want to start a family. If she's going to be a mom to your children, you right? Want, absolutely. You want, you want to have the same. Absolutely, and I think it's easier to do it when it's a younger chick. But yeah, that's yeah, all because I'm everyone else is like stuck in the their ways. The younger you are, the as they're yeah, older. They I mean, yeah. it's healthier as far as the body, maybe, but like mentally, it's not for everybody. Like, honestly, mentally, like you're bringing a child into the world. If you're still a child that can't even take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of another human being? What child can't what take care of What are you talking about? I, th- like, I think that you women know what are I mean? born with inherent maternal instincts, and I think yeah. that there is such thing as, you know, teen moms that become great, great moms, and, you know, financially they can't take care of themselves. So I, I'm a little confused where you're going with this because if you have a man to provide you with money and security, what do you need to do that for if you already have maternal instincts? And I think that most women are born with those, and that's why most women become good moms. But mm-hmm. you can't... I, I agree. Young moms are amazing moms and moms are the best. Yeah, we can go on all day about that, but there's something to be said about age and and experience, life experience. Mm -hmm. A lot happens in your 20s and things level out. Getting ran through in baggage and trauma. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Men don't want that. Men don't want that. So so then why aren't they wifing us early? Why are they running around town? Like, you know, if they don't want us ran through in baggage and trauma, why are they like, wait, they're waiting till like, 
like, how are we so, are so at 20, I should be looking for 40 year olds that are ready to settle. Not like, I don't know how to, not you, necessarily. I don't know how you, it sounds like just a losing battle all around. If you look at it, it's like all the responsibilities. But like it, on it, the it depends on if you're a wife, all wives are found always. If you're 20 years old and you're a wife, you're going to be found period in the mm -hmm. story. Um, I'm also going to play the devil's advocate. Yes. So, you know, in the perfect world, yes, like, I, you know, had a few opportunities to get married, but I'm very selfish. And just, you know, like... At least and, you admit it. Huh? Yeah. And I like my sleep. That is why I've postponed from having children. Because I even cried when I got my puppy and he would keep me up at night. I'm like, oh my God, I made such a mistake. But like, I'm just, so I just overanalyze everything. So you children for sleep. You postpone I, having children for sleep? Yeah, like I'm selfish and I like my sleep. And so when I have a kid, that kid's gonna be my life, right? So if I like my sleep, either have a kid or don't have a kid. You probably shouldn't have a kid. Correct. Yeah. That's yeah. why I don't have a kid. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, but no, people think that it's very easy to raise children, and that's why people are like, hmm, I wonder why are so many people are going to jail or doing this or doing that. Right. Is, does anybody else here have a kid, or am I the only one who has a kid, a kid here? Because I'm really the only one who can speak on the topic of even having and raising a child. Well, I mean, we all... We're all adults, and we all have rational right, faculties, but, like, and we can all especially as come a mother, to a like, I, I completely understand uh, what you're saying, like the mental readiness of having a kid. You are never going to be ready to have a kid, never, especially as a woman, especially as a woman. Only women have kids. Yes, <laughs> but you, men, you men have, have parents. Kids too. Some people <laughs> have kids as a meal father as out. well, <laughs> and that is totally. not cool but it happens like we're not in a perfect society you know it's yeah anyway a uh, question question so what to you is a wife how do you uh, qualify how do you get tenure uh there we go boom uh, graduate, so please. a wife is um <laughs> someone who is uh coachable agreeable nice um patient caring trusting loyal i would say beautiful inside and out um not promiscuous so yeah. Yeah. what now what to you is a husband um protector provider leader um what do you call it um what's the word uh, yeah guidance yeah. So, in your opinion, how many men currently, just in what age ranges do you think are actually ready to step into that role versus how many women are out there ready to step in that role? There are way more husbands than there are wives. I like there are way more, more. Okay, women be more are spe specific. Like, think about your friendship group. How many of them are ready to be, want to only well, well, be husbands? Well, let, well, well, let's think about this. How many women are promiscuous? I don't know. Well, a lot, a lot. You would, Tr you would me, know I better know. than me. Exactly. Like, trust me, I'm I know. Not, trust me. Would you I consider? Know. Would you consider yourself a husband? Huh? Like, uh, husband? No, I still, I still, I personally still have some growth to do, just financially. But okay. I know. Fair enough. So, do you? How, how would you feel? So, like, as a woman, I, uh, in my long term, when I get married, I hope that my husband never had a stage where he was dating multiple women at a time. I want to be with a man that always had his eye on one person and will not have a wandering eye. So, you know, is that, that probably, fair of me to say? Th that is, uh, you're looking for a unicorn. Well, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't say dating one person at a time because I think that we use the word dating like like it's sacred nowadays. Like when I think of dating, I think of like, you know, back in the day, oh, yeah, I dated this person. I went out with them. I, Having dinner. Yeah, like going on a date with someone. That's what I consider dating. Having, you know, so... It's totally fine with me if my future husband is dating multiple people at a time, going to dinner with her, seeing her, whatever. But what it sounds like you are in is like a polyamorous relationship. And I would not be okay with marrying someone who has previously been in a polyamorously defined relationship. Like I said earlier, men that can get women always, like, does your boyfriend watch? He actually, not right now. 
he he has in the past, but okay. Not so that mean, so so that means he wants other women. We we no we no, no I agree. that's exactly no, what that means. He wants we had a culture and pushed on us. Our uh. our culture pushes sexuality on us like no you're adult you're responsible you're responsible you, you, but you they, are they've responsible been dating since they were 14 do. and 16 so exactly. I, when he's 16 and like a young guy at the peak of his sexual ma- drive does, how are you gonna matter. say that now he like i just think that's unfair to say because he watched when he was younger he, he has no. a wandering eye no i'm saying currently I'm s- like oh. watch porn right now yeah like, does he watch porn now he does not how do you know Girlfriend knows. We've talked about it. He doesn't. I know. 